Okay, ladies and gents, are we live? What's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, let's get the tweets and Discord posts going. Morning, Zeno. Oh. Today, the first and most important thing I'm going to be testing, well, is whether or not the Surge staff is causing issues or having issues. Um, and that is what we'll be doing for the vast majority of today. Good morning to you too, Bravo. Good to see all of you. Oh, I'm tired, man. The uh, pipe issues are killing me. But my dad called in a plumber already, so uh, they're going to sort that out, and I shall work. So forgive me if I'm a bit lower energy today. Let's try and get a heresy run going. Um, so like I mentioned, today for me in this game, what I need to test is whether... Because the people have been complaining about the surge staff bugs, but I just don't see them. So I'm going to test it out and see whether or not there is really any bug or issue. Um, Use the servo scout to track them down. Once you're in, upload the data package to the cogitator. And I'll be I'll also be testing out like uh like the highest possible damage build for the psyker. Lord, these guys. Thank you. 
think there's only heresy level. The disorder the Empyrean wreaks upon the passage of time is most perturbing. Time may ebb and flow, but the beneficent Emperor keeps careful count of years and years. A well-equipped med station. Dude, I have that. Bring in the fly. You can't hide from judgment heretics. An efficient domination. All we can do is wait. the freaking demon host I got robbed by that box burst, I swear. But no, um, the problem with the box burster is that the other dude just wasn't sure that I was gonna handle it, so he popped it. But, like, I had a lot of extra stam, so I could have handled it easily. That was the only issue. This is high intensity, so whoop. Oh, <laughs> 
all right so far so good See you later. The vet kit, eh. That's uh, that's nice, but Big new E down. Gone. Engaging war protocols. I'm not so stuck on it that I that I can that I uh, prefer it over all else. I mean, for me, the psyker is still my main and always will be my main. So. Not gonna lie, of course the veteran has a lot of cool stuff and it's the class that I enjoy the most after the Psyker. But I mean... I, 
guess for me it's hard to just uh you know give up the awesomeness I do not disagree on that. Power cycler is indeed a very, very powerful thing. And I respect it immensely. Come on. See you later, Mara. I think I think it's just down to your playstyle. A lot of people feel the vet is the favorite child. I see the vets die the most. Out of every character class I've seen in the game, vets die the most. So to me, it feels like vets are not never the favorite child. It's just that a lot of people um, who are very good at FPS type games they always they always do well as the vet like me when i'm on the vet everything dies like i can guarantee that you know so i don't ever think that it's that the vet is the favorite child or that it does better than any other classes i reckon honest like maybe it's just me genuinely but i really feel more like it's it's just that people who are very very good at fps games like we do we do well on the vet and it makes it makes us like really really rock the class so much harder than everything else because like for me i'm like uh i'm pretty godlike at overwatch so it makes a huge difference to my vet play that's for sure like even with my psyker i'm learning new tricks so yeah no citizen is above the legs of Roma. You all do well to remember that. You know, which there'll come a time when our orders and the legs don't play nice together. Um, so far, like, I don't think anything is broken on the Psyker, though. Like, people complain the Surge Psyker's broken. Maybe it's just the fact that their warp 
flurry blessing is way higher than mine and at, at tier one it doesn't affect anything like my my sword staff is absolutely not broken in fact i'm trying a high risk build right now to see if i can max out um in this combat axe yeah i love the emperor's gift system like they're making so many positive changes to this game that i see it doing well um there are still a few crashes here and there but you know that's part and parcel of, you know this type of game but it's certainly nowhere near how bad it was before so i'm actually really happy with a lot of the crashes and stuff and the combat axe with brutal momentum is now godlike across the board because now i can have brutal momentum like have them having finished like the crafting system and stuff made a major difference to me That is, that is, I think, what a lot of people have been saying. Like, performance is all good, you know, things, things are going well. Like, if they look at content now, I think they'll do excellently.
Damn it. The mutant, the mutant got us. That was no good. <sighs> But like the the biggest the biggest problem is it's always the vet that dies. You see, this is the this is the problem, Daniel. It's always the veteran. Every single time. It's never it's never the zealot that dies first. It's never the psyker that dies first. It's always the goddamn veteran. That's why, like, no matter no matter what people say, like, oh, veteran is the best class, everybody's playing veteran and they all die. Like, they should never die. If the veteran is truly the best class they should never die but they always they're always the one unless i'm playing the veteran you know there no this one we only had one veteran and that was the veteran that kept dying when literally he should have been safe in the back so like i think that a lot of people just don't understand how to play the veteran it's you see the thing is right veteran is really good in the hands of someone like maybe you and me like if you've got a lot of fps experience the veteran is amazing because the veteran does well at what it's supposed to do the problem is the big problem that i would say uh occurs is that a lot of players don't seem to understand that the veteran takes knowledge it takes skill and it takes like the ability to legit be able to headshot everything you know you need to be able to bring out like the full fury of the warp gear if you uh sorry the full fury of your guns and whatever but if you don't do that if you cannot do that then the veteran is literally worthless in combat because so many people play the veteran but they'll never be good veterans and that's the issue you see they play the veteran but they're not good veterans and they will never be good veterans because they don't understand how to use it. The heretics took over an abandoned exiled vault some time ago. Well, true, now that's fair. But I think that the vault what happens with Dark Tide is that there's a myth perpetuated that the veterans are the strongest class, the favorite class. So everybody plays veteran thinking that they're gonna get the best class, but they don't realize how much aiming skill is necessary. You see, that's the problem. To me, I would actually say, like, um, in general, in general, the Psyker actually is the strongest one because we have the most damage increases out of everything. And I'm thinking of uh, running a, a high-risk Void Strike. I'm considering it, seriously, because the amount of raw damage that I could put out with it is uh quite insane like i'm testing it now with surge just to get a feel for it but i want to see for myself you know whether or not this will actually uh outperform It's also like perpetuated a lot by YouTubers, streamers, because like obviously the people who play these kinds of things, content creators are usually pretty good at what they're supposed to do. And I think that that's where, you know, the issue comes in because 
they we as content creators or experienced players showing off on youtube and stuff like that they know they know what's up you know they know how to apply um the skills and abilities that they've learned and earned they know how to apply them in the best possible way and then a lot of people get inspired by that but they don't realize that it's not as straightforward as some may make it seem so i think that that's where a lot of the struggles come in because then other people think that you know the veterans come in So they think that the veterans like do better than the others, but in actuality, um, they're not seeing the skill factor that comes in for a lot of players because the veteran in skilled hands, I don't deny it does amazingly well compared to other classes because they just have raw power. They just have a lot of raw power. of Rennick's anticipated elevation. Drop the look of an ambitious man! Wonder how that's going down with his master! Such a man would benefit from a spiritual guide. I will offer him my aid. Hurling the wall! Dead as gone as the Emperor guides your hand. Don't worry. No, nah, dude, I love the veteran, man. I just realized that, like, people praise it a lot. Then a lot of people play the veteran. <laughs> They're so bad at it. Like, I'm probably responsible as well for some of the bad psychers, you see. Because they, they'll probably see my videos of me going around doing all this, you know, insane shit with the psyker. And then, bada bing, bada boom, they try it themselves. But they don't realize that there's a lot of skill factor coming in. Because, like, what you're seeing right now, right, is that I'm testing out Wrath Unleashed because I don't want to... Like, the damage bonus is too good to pass up. Legit. Indeed. Like, for me to pass up Wrath Unleashed would be... Would be very, very silly. So, in order to not pass it up, you know, I, I'm trying out, like, uh, a variety of builds, stuff like that. And there is clearly like a skill factor that goes into that, knowing how to quell constantly without mind in motion, stuff like that. I don't, I don't, you know, deny what you're saying, man, because it, it's the truth. Unfortunately, a lot of psychers don't know how to psych. Like they'll see, they'll see my videos and stuff like that, and they'll try to psych, but they don't realize that they're just not very good at it. Because like I said, it's the knowledge and skill factor that a lot of them don't have and lack. And like I said, and it is something that, you know, unfortunately is you something you gain either by experience or, you know, through practice. It's not something that can like just uh, be gained anytime, anywhere. Because even what I'm doing right now...
les gars. Yep. Like a lot of psychers don't active quell either. They'll just quell when they get to 100 peril when that's not the style. Like the maximum benefit that you obtain is, if I'm not wrong, at uh, 75 or so. Ah, crap. say it's not a mechanical issue like they understand the psyker mechanics but it is more like you're saying execution and consistency because okay what you're seeing right now right the way i play is like even when sliding or whatever i'm constantly pressing my quell button because a lot of psychers will say oh you should only quell when you're at a certain level no no no, no fuck you okay i wrote the book on being a psyker i literally wrote the book on being a psyker so what you're seeing, like, in terms of te technique, right? You you should always have a finger on your on your R button. You should also know how and when to animation cancel. So, for example, against a horde, like a lot of people said, your, your Sir Staff is going to do shit all. So, a combat axe of brutal momentum is going to basically carry you through that kind of thing. That, that's why I love it so much. And now, um, like, there's still things I do. Even I'm still learning, you know. Even when I wrote the book, I'm still learning. Like, all or nothing, I just heard about the the sheer power increase. So I want to try and get a uh, high-ranking all or nothing blessing on a combat axe. Like, that's, that's what I want, ultimately. And higher-level brutal momentum blessings as well. Like, all this, I want. But... You know that that's that's just that's just uh like i guess build quality but in terms of knowledge in terms of knowledge like the original the original style of playing the psyker all of this all of this was learned during like the pre-order beta and obviously has been adapted and changed as the psyker has evolved and you know been given additional benefits stuff like that They've tried to buff the Psyker in a, in, a, in a large number of ways, and I can see the effect of the buffs coming through. Because now, we can do some pretty awesome shit. Like, there are times when you will need to, like, just pull off a fast stun, as opposed to a, as opposed to a charge stun. And I think that, that that kind of thing is, like, some of the important knowledge that a lot of folks miss out on. In general, yes. Basic, well, basically, to be more specific, Daniel, the Surge Staff does poorly against infested and unarmored targets. However, I would also say that it doesn't mean that it should not be used against them. Because it, it makes uh, very little sense. Like right here, there's no there's no point in me charging off into melee. So even though my my surge staff is not very effective, I can still apply it to some extent. You get what I mean? Yeah. 
Ah, oh, crap. That was an additional one. That double cast input is so annoying. That's the only that's the only problem with the high risk build. Or at least it's the only problem I'm noticing thus far. Stamina Curio is made such a huge difference, I gotta admit that. server issue my inputs keep dropping like um where i would change weapons it's it's almost as if it it like forces me into the previous previous topic um plus three stamina is so good time an honest citizen doesn't treat with lawbreakers hey, there's more to melt than meets the eye are they not gonna take it I right, guess I'm taking it then Sam is actually really good. I'm gonna get I'm gonna grab that back again. We 
My Q button is working just fine. It's it's the number key inputs that are having issues. is fine. Weirdly enough, I haven't experienced... Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna cover Diablo 4. Um, it was, it was paid for by the tips and all that I received, so pretty happy with that. I received a lot of support for Diablo 4, so that will be happening. I'm kind of excited to see it this weekend. Why are they all the way over there? Oh, they went for the heal. Okay. How to become a top channel member? Uh, you just hit membership, dude. Um, but it depends on how much you want to spend per month, dude. Like, for example, those those that are top tier uh, are basically the ones that sponsor all the content. So it's just it's just dependent on how much you donate, dude. Like it that it's that easy. But like, I'd only recommend it if you've got cash to spare. Like most people, what they contribute is just maybe five, ten dollars a month. And like, there's nothing beyond that. But actually, even just that much helps a lot. So even people who just contribute five, ten dollars a month, it, it, it's 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 really major. Um, considering that I'm a smaller content creator right now. So you don't have to spend excessively. Like, it's not necessary to be a top channel member. Unless, like, people really, really want to support. Like, uh, there are dudes like Bravo, Ripley. They're, like, hugely big on that. So they've helped out a lot. Uh, Dark Tide still has a lot of potential, that's for sure. But yeah, Diablo 4 is definitely going to be good. It's just going to require massive time investment, I reckon. But I'm excited either way. I, I love I love Diablo style games, and I never really got a chance to get into the number three. But I'm super excited to get into four. The warp stench of a demon host. And a great strike! Okay, we just wait for them.
Oh, Zelda got it. Okay. What is my class? I don't know yet. I'll see this weekend. Because I think that those who who uh, pre-ordered can play early, right? Before the before the open beta. So yeah, it will be. I will see and try whatever I can. You know, but if there's a necromancer, it'll probably be necromancer. Because <laughs> I'm always, always, every season, every game. No matter what, I'm a necro. Either necro or demon hunter. Playing last epoch nice well like obviously for me unless somebody pays me to play something i usually don't because uh my time is very divided and i already have like a ton of games to work on so i'm just chilling but if somebody wants me to play something usually they can just sponsor it and i'm all good but i actually dislike path of exile because it just got too complex and when it first came out it was boring as shit so back then i really wasn't a content creator that's why like i because for me right when i want to create content for something i want to hop in immediately for me i want to hop in like immediately at the start so that i have the best possible advantage like for me that's super important um and i guess that's why uh that's why it was a necessity for me to get into diablo 4 and I'm just happy that I will be able to right at the start. Because if you build up content right from the start, life is a lot easier. If you don't, then life is miserable and sad for a content creator. So that's why even though Darktide is like having issues, I'm still like super, super hopeful for it going forward. Because I know, because I know. Thank <laughs> you. 
Who said top clear? Oh, come on. Now that I've played with plus three stamina, I literally cannot play without it. Damn. I see some of what they're saying. Okay, so so far, based on what I've, what I've tested this morning, uh, the only issue I'm having is the the number keys. The number keys are not uh, going in right. The others are fine, but why? Why? Oh, why? Oh, why on earth? It should be cared for as such. Are the number key inputs not going in correctly? That's my only issue right now. Why? I understand and the machine god is most generous. I usually only buy stuff from Melks for the blessings, like that's legit it. I refuse to touch Melkies for anything else. Melks only gets touched if he has something absolutely awesome for me. If he fails, I will be angry. Lol, revolver with that blessing. I have it already. I do. Hi. Praise the Omnissiah.
Really? Why does the trauma staff have hope of that? <laughs> Makes zero sense to me. Praise the Omnissiah. I see. Lol. Suffer on behalf of those of us who don't have Power Cycler. This is quite the staff. Wanting that. A new marvel is awoken. is most generous. Don't have anything else that's cool? A new marvel is awoken. Shredder, I only want one with pinning fire and uh blaze away on my veteran just to try it out. Cuz I've heard of its raw power, but you know, me personally I don't see the value in it. If I'm gonna go that hard, I'd go for a braced auto gun instead. Anyway, I need to do a few things first. This needs to be swapped over. This. If I can get a better Stamina Curio, I would hope for that. Okay. Yep. This is all good. The rest of this is fine. Like I intend to I intend to test it out fairly, you know? That's that's my whole idea behind all that anyway. I will get I will give it all a fair go. Because why not? the way Look at two max stamina Ooh, who you? I only want three max stamina three okay back at it again I need materia I need all my materia but you know a lot of people like the stuff that they've complained about, like about the surge staff, I'm just not seeing it. I'm literally not seeing the problems that they mentioned, so I don't know what's going on. Like, um, I'm not have I'm not having problems with this. Handle with extreme care. 
Vault access is limited. You will have to interrogate the Servitor colony. Try not to inflict damage. It is the only one of its kind left on Atoma. The pneumatic conveyor should be utilized to deliver the samples to other operatives. Extraction follows. literal one too. No, um, the people are having issues with the particular blessings of the Surge. If Warp Flurry goes past blessing tier 2, I believe, because I've only got a tier 2, I don't have a tier 3, um, it causes targeting issues. Like, basically, you no longer are able to charge, you no longer able to do damage. 
I cannot say for certain, you know, whether it's the blessing causing it. I intend to test because I'm on a tier 1 blessing and I have no issues right now. So if people experiencing said issues... The people experiencing said issues uh, are using the tier 4 or tier 3 blessing. So right now that seems to be the uh, current problem that people are having. I'm trying to resolve that issue. Or at least I'm trying to determine in live combat whether or not there are any uh, potential problems related to this. But the thing is, I'm not having any. I know that the surge, the surge is amazing. I love the surge. It does what it's supposed to do, but I'm just trying to reproduce the problems that other people are having. And, it, and like, the thing is, right, some people have mentioned that even with other blessings, like, there's issues. I'm like, no, I think you're just bad. <laughs> Either you're just bad at using the surge staff or, you know, there's something else going on that I don't I don't understand or, or no The only thing that happens is that my my cursor input, like the thing that shows me I'm killing, it disappears. But uh, other than that, I don't have issues. Mm. Why? My honest answer, Griffin Jones, is that it depends on your playstyle. Um, Surge is like more for supporting, uh, as already mentioned. Surge was is not designed if you want to deal mondo damage. It's also not a board clear staff. Um, the Surge is what it is. It is a general support staff that has very good CC and like literally some of the top tier CC. So that is what the surge is for in general. It's for literally, you know, dishing out top tier CC. Yeah, I don't know, Daniel. It seems to be, I don't know if it's their build or whatever, because I haven't had a problem. That's, that's the thing. But I don't have tier three yet. I, I intend to test with tier two. Like I said, it could very well be an issue build that's build related rather than anything else. about hordes i'm also playing with randos griffin so realistically speaking you just need to know you just need to have a good melee weapon see i don't fear hordes as a surge psyker your melee is designed to deal with them so i'm also playing with randos i i'm 95 percent of the time playing with randos because the only way to test things is in completely random games This should never have been permitted to decay. 
Um, well, if you only got 10 hours in game, then that's probably why. I suggest looking up more builds and watching more of my streams if you want to see how Surge is really played. But... Four Sword is actually not that great on the Surge staff. With the Surge staff, 95% of players would probably use a non-force uh, weapon. Because the Four Sword is really great, but... Um, it doesn't really complement the surge playstyle because the four sword is more like is is mostly used for its extremely powerful special so because of the extremely powerful special um it it is more for single target damage than for horde clear and that's what happens most of the time so if you're using a four sword for horde clear uh you will usually encounter more difficulties than somebody who is um, using a non-force weapon. And also, blessings matter a lot when dealing with wards. For example, combat axe with brutal momentum is what you're gonna is the ideal for lower level content. But for higher level content, you will also probably want all or nothing, which uh, increases the power of everything. Also, Psychers tend to get stronger once they hit level 30 because a lot of your abilities are all based around the kind of uh, feats and perks you have. So this is all like the reason why the Psyker can sometimes seem very weak. Because at lower tiers, it just doesn't have as much power, I would say, as some of the other classes. Um, but once, once it gets to 30, pretty much everything works as intended. But yeah, the Psyker initially doesn't have the same kind of firepower. So that might also be another reason why you might struggle a bit with the Psyker initially until you get to 30. That shovel rolling all or nothing though, is that even necessary? Because my only thought is, why wouldn't I just use the... Actually, you know what? I'm curious now. Can the freaking power sword roll all or nothing? Uh, you cannot use that 99. You'll explode, dude. The videos you should watch are on my channel. They explain everything. You use that 97. Anything above 97, you will pop. So, uh, just, just be very careful with that, Griffin. But yes. You can brain burst, you can brain burst at 97 and not pop. But there are tons of videos on my channel, I suggest you check them out. All the Psyker videos will be very helpful to you. To learn the proper way of doing stuff. And there are a lot of hidden mechanics and things like that. That you learn as you observe and watch gameplays and stuff like that. But most of the important videos are already covered on my channel, so you can just watch that. Like I said, I am the guy who wrote the book on being a Psyker. Well, I mean, I wouldn't need the power sword to roll all or nothing. So even if it can, I'm okay with that. I just think it'd be amusing to to buff my... Um, whatchamacallit? I think it'll just be amusing to buff my... To buff my ranged weapon with, uh, with uh, all or nothing. Just for hilarity's sake. But I don't know if this is just unique to the Psyker. Oh my god, this guy's using kinetic flare. Oh lord. Yeah, it's 97, dude. So, no, no. Watch my video on Peril, Griffin, 
I highly suggest, look, just just go. I have a playlist called All the Tips About Dark Tide, right? Go in there and watch all the Psyker base videos. It will help you tremendously then, then um, you know, trying to figure things out from, from, from scratch. Because like I said, most of us, or well, myself, like, a lot of the content creators played since the pre-order. So although there are some stuff that has changed, right? Most of the mechanics are still exactly the same, which is why I highly recommend if you haven't already, go check out all my Psyker videos. Unless I'm the first Dark Tide creator you found, then there's nothing I can say to that. But if you genuinely want to learn Psyker, my videos will be the, the way to start. I mean, tier, ooh, tier 4 all or nothing is great, and I have no doubt that you'll make great use of it. As long as she continues to do her duty, I've no complaint. Chainsword a bad weapon? Yep. The chainsword is not a bad weapon per se, but depends on your class. If you're using it on the Psyker, you'd be you're 100% doing it wrong. The Psyker was never meant to use the chainsword. So if you touch the chainsword on the Psyker, you're kind of gimping yourself because the Psyker's best abilities work with things like the combat axe, stuff like that. If you're using stuff like the, the chainsword, you're not you're not efficient because the chainsword requires multiple swings to do what it's supposed to do whereas the psyker because of their fragile nature um generally it does poorly if you're if you're forcing something like the chainsword on it they'll do very very much better if you're running something like combat axe dueling saber stuff like that Ultimately, for the Psyker, your main goal is to be able to kill hordes fast, and the Chainsword doesn't do that. There are plenty of weapons that are suitable for some classes, but not for others. Like, on the Veteran, um, I would say the Chainsword's pretty okay. It's it's pretty decent. But, um... Uh, it, really, it really does depend on your class. That That is the honest feedback I have for you guys. Because if you're if you use awkward weapons that don't complement the style of your character, the playstyle of your character, you have more issues than if somebody was like using a proper weapon, stuff like that. Like even for me right now, right? I'm sniping from this window. But it doesn't mean that like um like this is this is like one of the tricks that psychers need to know how to get to a high point snipe and then come down and yeah basically it's not the power sword as daniel says there are weapons that will just be you know better than others no matter no matter no matter how geared they are and for the veteran the ultimate choice is the power sword uh, for the 
Psyker, for example, the ultimate choice is the Combat Axe because it's just so good. Once you have brutal momentum on your Combat Axe, there is literally, and of course, uh, good stats on it. You smoke everything, so why would you, you know, choose to use something that isn't that, you know? It's like, it's like the top choice, and I've only got like, I've only got all or nothing uh, level one on this. If I had all or nothing tier four, like, it would smoke, like, I would literally be crushing everything. But I need more materials to create something better. Get out of my head. Engaging more protocols. Sniper. Scriptures. Metapod down. Engage excise Hey, doing good, Aiden. How about you? I hope you're doing good. Whoop. How is your gaming going, Aiden? Are things okay on your end? Oh, no! Uh, nothing got damaged, but it's just annoying to you need to, to have the pipe burst. Together. I spent a lot of yesterday mopping. Um, my honest answer to that is that, duh, um, and I'm really sorry to say this, Rusty, don't ever follow tier lists. There are tier lists made by this fake-ass YouTuber named Dalcor or whatever. They're all bullshit. There are weapons that are suitable, weapons that are unsuitable, but never follow a tier list because... The tier list is the best way to get yourself gimped. I have lost count of how many people have followed um, tier lists and just been really, really bad. Um, I, I, yeah, a lot of people will disagree with tier lists. Don't watch those videos, Griffin. Only morons watch those kinds of videos because it is, it is stupid. Ne there is no such thing as a tier list in games. This isn't COD. All right. What is more important is um, what is more important is actually understanding how to bring out the best of every single weapon and how to actually utilize the strengths of those weapons. But you also have to understand that playstyle is a factor, right? So, for example, let, let's let's say let's say just just as an example, right? We're talking about a shredder auto pistol veteran whose main strength is um a shredder auto pistol veteran whose main strength is like getting into close combat and shredding everything quite literally that is that is what that build is designed to do so for them they need a weapon that can complement that playstyle oh lord They need something that can complement that playstyle. If they don't have that, they will lose out. So, Power Sword is probably the best choice. Now, if you're playing more of a ranged weapon with, like, fan... Oh, sorry. Um, they need something that can handle single target. So, they would choose, like, potentially a Chainsword. They would choose other weapons that could really rip a single target in pieces. Combat Axe comes to mind. Like, there's, there's always options, you see? But if I was playing a veteran that needed, like, horde clear because I'm using the plasma gun or whatever, Power Sword would be my ultimate choice. So, this is why tier lists are also kind of rubbish. Because they don't account for playstyle, they don't account for variations. Joseph, it's 1.49pm for me. Don't forget, I'm on the other side of the world to you, buddy. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of differences that I guess people need to be aware of. And I think that a lot of people who make tier lists, they just don't care about these kinds of things. So, 
If your ranged weapon is dealing well with single targets, probably your melee should be dealing with hordes. You know, that's one of the core principles of this whole thing. Because if you have an overlap in your equipment, you're going to have a very rough time. Like for me, my equipment doesn't overlap. It's if I'm if I'm got if I've got something that handles single targets or uh, particular targets well, I choose something else to complement it. There's nothing wrong with disliking the Void Strike staff. Like everybody has their own playstyle, dude. That's that's kind of thing. This is why again, tier lists and all that kind of stuff is bullcrap. Only morons follow tier lists, and the only time a tier list is valid is in a game where TDK matters, and it must be a PvP game as well. Because, for example, a tier list would be very valid in COD, like I said. Well then, Joseph, this is called Dark Tide. Never mention Dauntless when I'm streaming Dark Tide, because Dauntless is a piece of shit game! Um, but anyway, no, seriously, uh, I don't talk other games when I'm when I'm playing this one. So, especially not Dauntless, because Dauntless is the dog shit game of history. I swear I hate that game so much. And like, the community is dying so hard on Dauntless, like, I just haven't seen very good viewership on that game either. That's why I haven't streamed it at all. Like, if people want to see me stream more Dauntless, we need to see a lot more support for it. Oh, the game is just dog shit, dude. Dauntless is the most shit game in history. The devs don't ever update. They don't care about you guys. They don't give you any content. Why do people even play it? Like, half the reason people even play that game is because it's free. If it wasn't free, nobody would play it. Everybody plays games like Wild Hearts, Monster Hunter. These are paid games, but they are so much better. Wild Hearts just even dropped a free content, like, what, one month after release? They just, they just made a free content release just then. So, you know, Dauntless as a game is just dog shit. I don't even know why people even play that game. It's boring. But I still do it because, yeah. I still do it because I still have a couple of fans there, you know? But I, I limit my stream time for that game. I, I rarely play it anymore. Yeah, basically, it's it's free. It's free, and that's the only reason people yes. play it. Can I be of service? I mean, a lot of things, Griffin, come down to how you use it. Like I said... Uh, the one dude who made a freaking tier list, uh, he, he, he's like, he's like a fake YouTuber. He bought all his views. Like you can legit see that he bought all his views. So, you know, I, I, I don't feel it's, it's, it's good at all. And that's why I don't ever follow tier lists. My, my, my advice to you is that don't worry about tier lists. Worry about what suits your playstyle. There are ideal choices, but even outside of that, I've seen people make non-ideal choices work. There's one guy that loves um, the... What do you, what's it called? The Katakan Devil Claw on the Psyker. I have never made that work, but he, he likes it and he does damnation high intensity with it. You know, so to an extent, um, it, it really... It, what really matters is more, are you properly utilizing uh, your weapons, your skills, your stuff in a, in a way that is helping you get the ideal results. You get what I'm saying? So, I would say that that has a major impact as well. I don't know much about Ogren weapons, so I don't play the Ogren. Lol, Joseph. Bro, you gotta you gotta get yourself a job and get some real games like Wild Hearts. Mm. But the only problem with Wild Hearts right now is that if you're gonna buy it, buy it like four or five months later because the optimization is so bad. Uh, especially when streaming. When you play the game by itself, it's okay, but you still can't reach the highest tier of graphics, which annoys me a lot. Yeah, you, you'll gain that slowly, so don't worry too much about that, Griffin. Like, take, take your time. The most important thing is to just take your time and enjoy things as, as they come. I do not have a higher tier Warp Flurry Blessing on this thing to try it out. I thought I did, but I don't. Sadly. Um... All I have is terrible, terrible, like, warp nexus blessings, stuff like that. I could upgrade this, but there's no guarantee it'll work out for me. Do it, Joseph, do it. 
if you like monster hunting games, Wild Hearts is great. And of course, a lot of the Monster Hunter games are on sale or discounted because they've been out for quite some time. Uh, Wolong, Wolong uh, has received an update that fixed the PC port controls, Daniel. So you can check that out. The update was uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, it's very smooth on PC right now, but uh, the game is still very difficult. That's all. But they've made the PC controls very smooth. I've got no trouble. I'm actually looking forward to doing more of the Wolong story maybe tomorrow. Um, I just beat Lubu and stuff like that. It was awesome. This game is not free and it's not on console, Joseph. This game is PC only for now, and it's about and it's about uh, forty dollars. Dude, Elden Ring is a is a, is artwork, man. Elden Ring cannot be beaten. There is no game on the planet that can beat Elden Ring right now. So that's for real. It's not their focus right now because I think they've gotten stability done. They're probably going to be working on content and the console release now because there are very few crashes now. Crashes are pretty much sorted out. Yeah, the other issue is that they need to have crossplay between Steam and um, Game Pass. That one, that one is something a lot of us are also pushing for in the creator discord. Like we're really, we're genuinely trying to help you guys get that stuff sorted. Yep, Elden, Elden Ring is number one. There, It is unbeatable. It is unbeatable. There is nothing, no game on the planet that can equal Elden Ring. And I'm hyped for the DLC. Like, when, I, when it comes out, you know, I'm going to replay it right from the beginning and enjoy all that. I'm definitely going to remake a wizard and just, like, you know, blast through everything again. It'll be fun. Just wait for just wait for the console release is 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 my honest recommendation cuz you know there's nothing much we can do right now poppy just got to wait just got to wait it out Yeah listen there's a lot of people that have opinions you know um on that stuff and it's all good Yeah, damnation is the ideal for farming materials, uh, Rusty Bob. Because if you if you check the patch notes video I did, they basically boosted all the uh, drop rates for that kind of stuff. Um, and of course, in case you guys don't know, I'm a Dark Tide partner. Most of what you guys will will need to know about the game will be on my channel, because um, like I said, direct contact with devs. Hmm. The heretics took a comms place, and they're broadcasting something nasty. But yeah, everyone has a difference in how they play. Everyone has a difference in like how they do things, which is which is again why for me I advocate you should do what fits your playstyle. Just because somebody says Void Strike's great doesn't mean you have to use Void Strike. Just because somebody says Surge is great doesn't mean you have to use Surge. Always use what is comfortable for you. Hell, there are people. There are psychers that use the trauma staff better than I ever could and outperform my surge. It's very rare. I've only seen one psyker do it, but it is a po it is possible. So, you know, always, always just um, be open-minded with games like Dark Tide. Never feel like you have to follow things exactly. Like, even for me, even though I do a lot of guides on this kind of stuff, what I would usually tell people is, you can follow my guides. You know, get a feel for things. And if you genuinely feel that my style is suitable for you, you can apply it. But if you don't feel that it's suitable for you, you should you should find your own style. For example, there is like the updated Psyker build that I posted. Um, 
is not suitable for everybody. Some people really like Wrath Unleashed. So I've I've swapped to a Wrath Unleashed style. Just to just to show just to see what it can do. And I'm testing it live right now. Um getting a getting a feel for it and just just enjoying it. So a lot of a lot of stuff in games is is all about you and how you apply something. So never feel constrained, never feel like you know you've only got one pathway available to you. Never works like that. Be free. Be free and open-minded. Listen, I, I I too am a scrub magic user in Elden Ring. What's wrong? I, I wanna I I'm gonna I plan to play it like I like I'm Harry fucking Potter. You know that's the right way to do things. Who says you have to melee? Who says you have to fight anything in melee? Nah, fuck that. The way I play is magic, magic, magic. I'm a wizard. Even in D and D, I play wizards. Yeah, dude, Wild Hearts. Once they optimize, it's gonna be great. But right now, it's pretty bad, not gonna lie. They need to optimize it for streamers, mostly. Because at the end of the day, we're the ones that will attract people to play it, but... Like, my PC is so strong, that if I'm not streaming, I can play it perfectly. But if I am streaming, it, it's, it has so many optimization issues. This is no good. You have received a tip. Hey, we got a tip. But I didn't get the tip message. Shit! Who tipped me? I'm so sorry. I didn't see the tip message. I don't know why the thing didn't work. Yeah, Magic Mike. I'm gonna be Magic Mike again. Sorry, did anyone catch my tip message? Because I don't know why the bot didn't show it at all in my chat. Oh, it's Bravo. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That means I have an excuse to perform Whirlwind Boy. Thank you, Bravo! And Stream Elements Bot, fuck you! It was, it was. Bravo, like I said, Bravo is one of my top supporters. Somebody earlier in stream asked how to be a top supporter. I said, yeah, it's just based on money. Like, if you're if you're a top supporter, you're contributing high amounts. But, you know, like, I, I also told him it's, like, it's, it's optional. Of course, I always hope for more top supporters so I can make more content. The more that I can do, the better. But I'm so stoked. I'm so hyped this week. Diablo 4. played Baldur's Gate. I used to be into D&D a long time ago. Oh, I did play, um, what's that game on Game Pass? Solasta? That one was so true to D&D. It was actually quite fun for me and my girl to play. We just don't have a lot of time. But I, I, the last Baldur's Gate I played was the one that was really bad. What was it? Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance? Oh god. Oh god. That thing was a mess. Uh, D&D games, like, never translate well i grew up i grew up on Baldur's gate 2 i did play that but i never got a chance to play Baldur's gate 3. 2 was the last one i played one i one i played as well but i don't remember it 
I haven't lost a single dot of hit points this time. Woo. Feeling good. I never played the Mass Down Effect here. series and it's too old for me to waste my time on right now. Ah, You have received a well, tip. I will get my Twitter verified today. In the name of Bravo. In the name of God. As we make our way to heaven. Nazi lines. Primo Victoria. On 6th of June. On the shores of Western Europe. 1944. D Day upon us. So we've been here before. It's this kind of war. Crossfire crying through the sands. Orders were received. It's kill or be killed. Blood on both sides will be spilled. Well, thank you very much. You and Ripley basically got my Twitter blue verified. So? It is done. Hey. This thing is just refusing to die. <laughs> Yeah, Dark Alliance, wasn't it? That was the one last year. It was so bad. D&D &D games never translate well, unfortunately. Yeah, a new Dragon Age game would be great. Alas, we find ourselves without opponents. For shame. Bravo got that love for me, Poppy. That's why. I'll wait for the, I'll wait for the day, okay? That Poppy can become a member. I'll wait for the day that all of you can become members. To be honest, right? Considering the amount of people I have, right? If I could just get like five bucks a month from everyone, like. I could make so much content. I would just get like so much shit every month just to make content. Like that'd be more than enough for bills and content, which would be great. But that is my eventual goal. One day I want to just have like, I want to have like just like 500 people, just five bucks a month. That would be enough for me. Such fury! All for naught! Yes, yes, blow through me! The barrel explodes! Yeah, take your time on it, man. When you can afford it. I'm, I'm not worried because, like, for me, I'm just going to keep growing and pushing my channel. I am sure that my time will come. You know? My progress is there. I'm I'm just going to keep on going. Like, right now, I'm just very lucky that my parents support my dream. So, they're letting me, like... Like, I stay with them, so I save on rent, you know? it makes It makes a huge difference. Like, I don't pay full rent, so... Like that is that is why I can I can survive on not very much per month. Cause let's let's be real, only making a thousand dollars per month is not enough to, for most people to survive. They would they would need a day job. But thankfully I am okay because of the fact that I stay with my folks. Oh. I see. Baldur's Gate 3 releases in a few months. 
I see, I see. Well, if it's on EA, I'll, I'll definitely look into it. Diablo 4. Oof. That's gonna be a tough sell. I'll wait and see whether or not there's like very, very hype news about it. If there is, then I'll probably pick it up. dude i can't wait like i my next two music releases should be done should be done by friday tomorrow i'm gonna record another song so uh i've gotten one done that one has been posted to spotify it's just waiting for approval um and yeah once once all that is sorted oh my god yes i i didn't get to do a lot of music last month but this month i am making it my goal bros i'm making it my goal Only time I lost HP when I got accidentally trapped. Ah, well, thank you, Poppy. Listen, lurk as much as you like, man. Time is a very precious resource. lucky there they might be unnerving but without services the imperium would grind to a halt it is comforting well if i start hearing a lot of news about Baldur's gate 3 you know i'll pick it up does not not my kind of service i admit i'm up here with a rifle and bayonet ah that's okay poppy i appreciate that regardless yeah, like I don't know. I'm just not having any trouble with the search. Like it's it's definitely because I don't have I don't have a high enough blessing tier. Yeah, like I said, I'll wait and see if I hear a lot of news about it. If I do, then I'll probably run it. If not, then it's okay. Lord of the Rings survival game, bro. I don't like survival type games, but... That at the very least sounds interesting. 
I hate games where I have to craft, create stuff, eat. Like, that is all not my jam at all. But if it's Lord of the Rings, at least, it might be very interesting. Bomber flying from. Oh, come on. Nah, these guys were separated too much. What is he doing over there? <laughs> this guy needs to blow, blow these things up real fast. Two separated. <laughs> Just Diablo 4. Well, Space Marine 2, I guess, but I, I have no idea when that's coming out. Um, as and when, I'm sure somebody will tell me about it. But I hate survival games. I think they're dog shit. People should really stop making survival games. They are just so bad 95% of the time. I'm glad you're with us. Oh, I love Diablo. Diablo-style games. They're the best. Aha. Uh -huh. I was wondering. That they are my jam, I'll tell you that much. Each weapon is a relic. It should be cared for as such. This is gonna be a bit dumb, but Sometimes it's just worth trying something. I trust you are pleased, Violet. Decimator I already have. Oh, I don't have all or nothing on this one. I didn't know the ta oh, it's attack axe. Yeah, silly of me. If I had a combat axe with, um... With all or nothing, I would run it. Our prayers have been answered. This other one. Decapitated. Very and what do we have here? Guess I'll have to wait till I get a actual all or nothing blessing. Sag. This one has all or nothing, but it doesn't have brutal momentum. Both of these have all or nothing. This one's got low penetration but high damage. Tempted. I'll think about it. In this case, let me earn the blessing here. Then I can put it on the other one. It is done. 
Three blasts with decimator. It is done. Let's try. Let's try attack axe. See you later, Bravo. Thank you so much again for the kind donos. Well, the next rap we do is in Bravo's name, so let's prepare, shall we? Now, stream might freeze for just a second, but that's just what happens when I switch over to my earbuds. But this rap is for Bravo. And Valheim was cool, but I I am I cannot do those types of games. I played it for a while, but it, it just was not my jam. I just find survival boring in every way, shape, and form. Okay, let me swap over to this. Okay, if stream freezes, all right, all you guys got to do is refresh. It'll, it'll only freeze for a sec, but if it does freeze for you, just refresh and you'll see. Okay, we should be back and good to go. Now, ladies and gents, this one is for everybody out there. All right. <laughs> this is the next song that's coming on Spotify. Hopefully, it gets approved by Friday. Are y'all ready for this? I hope you enjoy it. Let my words be the words of pain. Twisted drama, the fall of rain. Got me trapped in my own brain. Caught my demons, so I never want to change. Stuck on the drugs, cause I'm just insane. Everybody hates what I became. No one likes me, cause I pave my own path in my own way. Fuck all the hairs, yeah, just get dumb. Clouds of fans who get so pumped. Showing up to everything I make. Yeah, y'all know that the anger's fake. Why I gotta be that you can't relate? Is my life more than you can take? Wishing that you could live this shit, but you would live it if you were lit. 16 hours, yeah, grind all day. Passions when no work is play never run out of things to write cause every song is a mental fight trapped in a box that i don't like self-hate is now internalized wooing got me spinning sad wishing i could sleep just like i died on oh, wishing i could sleep forever on oh, wishing i could sleep forever let my words be the words of pain Twisted drama, the fall of rain Got me trapped in my own brain Caught my demons so I never wanna change Stuck on the drugs cause I'm just insane Everybody hates what I became No one likes me cause I pave My own path in my own way Fuck all the haters, yeah, just get dumb Clouds of fans who get so pumped Showing up to everything I make Yeah, y'all know that the anger's fake Why gotta be that you can't relate Is my life more than you can take Wishing that you could live this shit But you would live it if you were lit 16 hours, yeah, grind all day Passions when your work is played never run out of things to write cause every song is a mental fight trapped in a box that i don't like self-hate is now internalized whirlwind got me spinning sad wishing i could sleep just like i died on oh, wishing i could sleep forever yeah on oh, wishing i could sleep forever look forward to that hopefully out on spotify by friday Thank you guys so much. I'll stay with my earbuds for now, just so that you guys don't have to go through another stream freeze. And now I'm going to run one more heresy game, but with the tack axe instead. And the power of all or nothing. Because if it does boost me up, I've got no reason got no reason got no shame got no family i can blame just don't let me disappear i'ma tell you everything so tell me what you want to hear or something that I like those ears Now, time to rock and roll. I just checked my Twitter, right? I just got a bunch of follows and they're all graphics designers. I'm like, ah, yes. Old place is dedicated to water purification. 
station. It's not great, but it's the best Persian has. That's worth something. <sighs> I fear for the souls of those who must dwell here. Silo cluster 1866A is best reached through the bazaar. You'll need an elevator. We are firm hearts, pilgrims. Well struck! This tack axe, holy crap. Why is this actually doing well? Holy crap. Not as strong as the combat axe, that's for sure. But it does have potential. Yeah, compared to the combat axe, the tack axe is not suitable for the, uh, for the, uh, Cypher at all. Actually stopped it. Nice. Oh, nicely clapped. Okay. 
That was a super easy, uh... Come on. Did not expect that. Okay.
my head. The elevator appears intact. Try to survive until it arrives. Great shot, Gunner! The only thing I care about is materials. And there's no plus deal! So good. Pop. All right. We must retake the torrent. The Emperor wills it. Slow and steady.
That plastic. Anything on the side, new. Enemies. 
Agreed. Damn it. Got a present for ya. That was my bad. The most annoying thing is like even when I input to change weapons sometimes, like literally that's the only bug I figured out. Engaging war 
Gotta love these moments. We didn't get as much plasteel as I had hoped. It's okay. That's a GG there. Now, if only I could trade some of these weapons that I get for uh, plasteel, I'd be so happy. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, we'll be back again in the evening. So, in the evening, I'll be rolling another stream of Dark Tide. Uh, I'll be finalizing some stuff that I've been uh, taking a look at overall. But so far, I everything that uh, I have wanted to confirm, I've been able to confirm today. So thank you guys so much. Uh, you've been a wonderful, wonderful audience. I will catch you all this evening. All right, for even more shenanigans. See you later. Get you later, Zeno.